Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Agesti. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe as to build the mathematics community. Thanks to Mustafa for sending me this question. Now, let's see how we solve this question. Find f prime of pi on 4 if f of x equal to 1 minus cosine x divided by y minus sine of x. Now let's do this and differentiate using the quotient rule. So here we have our f prime of x to be equal to 1 minus sine of x times the derivative of 1 minus cosine of x with respect to x minus 1 minus cosine of x times the derivative of 1 minus sine of x with respect to x all divided by one minus sine of x all squared. That is the chain. So that is the quotient rule. You differentiate the numerator and you multiply it by the denominator minus. You differentiate the denominator and multiply it by the numerator, all divided by the denominator squared. Now, here we have f prime of x to be equal to. Here, if we differentiate a constant, you get zero. If you differentiate cosine of x, you get negative sine of x. And we have negative here. So negative, negative will be positive. So I'm going to have here as positive sine of x times 1 minus sine of x minus here, if we differentiate 1, you get 0. As if we differentiate 1 with respect to x, you get 0. The derivative of a constant is 0. If we differentiate sine of x, you get cosine of x. And we have negative here. So negative times negative will give us positive. So we're going to have positive cosine of x times 1 minus cosine of x. All divided by 1 minus sine of x all squared. Now, let us expand. Here, we have sine of x minus sine of x, sorry, sine squared of x plus cosine of x minus cosine squared of x all divided by 1 minus sine of x all squared. Here, let's see what we are going to do. This is the same as sine of x plus cosine of x minus into brackets sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. So you see that there's a negative in front of the sine squared of x and there's negative in front of the cosine squared of x. So if we group them, look at this. Right? If we group them like that, we can factorize the negative out. And if we factorize the negative out, this is what happens. Negative times positive, negative. Negative times positive, negative. Wow. All divided by 1 minus sine of x all squared. Now, from the basic trigonometric identity, if we add sine squared of x plus cosine of squared of x, we get 1. So this will give us sine of x plus cosine of x minus 1, all divided by 1 minus sine of x all squared. And here, what can we do? We can just put in the value of uh, the value that we have here of x that we have there. So f prime of x 
is equal to that. So let's put in the value and see. So you take your calculator and you set it into radians. Because we have pi. So you set your calculator into radians. <coughs> so here we have uh, f prime of pi on 4 to be equal to 2. Sine of pi on 4. Plus cosine of pi on 4 minus 1 or divided by 1 minus sine of pi on 4 or squared. So let me point sine of pi on 4. That will give us. On two on two, and then I think cosine of this will give us plus on two on two. Ah, okay. What it is divided by four is uh, forty five. So that's why we are getting the same thing. This is pi on four. Pi equal to one hundred eighty in degrees. So if we divide it by 4, then we'll get 45. So we see that sine 45 is the same as cosine of 45. Or divided by 1 minus root 2 on 2 or squared. So let's see how we do this. This is also part of the question. And very, very, very important to the question. So let's see. Let me clean this first. Now, this one will give us 2 root 2 on 2. Very, very simple as that. Because these pair of fractions are like fractions. So you add the numerators. Root 2 plus root 2 to give us 2 root 2 all divided by 2. So we have this divided by this division sign is this then let me expand this one so this one we are going to get one minus root two plus two and four hmm. let's see how I did the expansion we have one minus root two and two all squared to be equal to 1 minus root 2 and 2 times 1 minus root 2 and 2. So here, <coughs> 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative root 2 and 2 is minus root 2 and 2. And minus root 2 and 2 times 1 is minus root 2 and 2. And if we multiply this, we're going to have positive. 2 divided by 4. Because 2 times 2 will give us 2. 2 times 2 is 4. If we add this, we have 1 minus 2 root 2 on 2 plus 2 on 4. And see that this will cancel this. And we have root 2 here. Correct. So let's ask one. Okay. Now, we have this. To cancel this one, and I would have root 2 divided by 1 plus half minus root 2. Because 2 divided by 4 is half. So you have root 2 divided by 1 plus half is 3 on 2 minus root 2. Yes. <clears throat> and what are we going to get? We're going to have 
root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2 or divided by 2. That is if you simplify this. This is over 1. So the LCM is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3 is 3. 1 divided by 2, sorry, 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times this will give us that. Now, this will be root 2 times 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2. And what are we going to get? This is part of the question, right? So this will give us 2 root 2 all divided by 3 minus 2 root 2. And this is not the solution because we have a radical at the denominator. We have to rationalize it. So let's keep on going. <coughs> now we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of 3 minus 2 root 2. So we have 2 root 2 times 3 plus 2 root 2 divided by 3 plus 2 root 2. That's the conjugate of 3 minus 2 root 2. 2 root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 root 2. If you are not using calculator and you want the full max for the question, you have to go through all these steps. Yes, and let's move on. Yeah, this or not by this, we have 6 root 2, 2 times 2 is 4, root 2 times root 2 is 2. All divided by the denominator is the difference of 2 squares. So you take this squared, that is 9, and you take this squared, that will give us 4 times 2. So you should note it. It's difference of squares. So just multiply 3 times 3, 9. And that, this, and that, here yeah, you get negative. Don't worry with that, you get negative. Or this times that will give us negative. That's what we have there. So this will give us 6 root 2 plus 8 divided by 9 minus 8. And that is 6 root 2 plus 8. And that is 2 into 3 root 2 plus 4. Very simple answer. You can cross check this and see. 3 times 3 will give you 9. Then 3 times this will give you 6 root 2. This times that you have minus 6 root 2. So you say that this will cancel that. Yeah, minus 2 times this will give us minus 4. Root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. So that is what we done there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye.